Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and we're with Forensics Mission 3, and the last time I said, look at this login, it's not important, we don't need it, we only need that and that, well now we do need to log in. So, open the file, stand here, say follow TCP stream, because then you get the whole thing. This is like the easiest thing you can do, um, also if you wanted to get the from and to, but it's nice to be able to scan everything and see alright this is how it looks like in Wireshark but this is how it looks like when somebody would do a telnet as it were and complete the whole transaction the only thing we're currently interested in is this that part right there oh sorry that part right there so auth login 334 something this something else this well if you follow my decryption things you would know that this is that giveaway for base 64 encoding and it is but this is um, I'm gonna show you multiple ways because well that's what I'm here for um, so what you can do is um, no by the way you should uh, there let me go through this that's one you should first install this one on backbox because you need uh, mm encode what you could also do is mm encode run it and then um, usually Linux or uh, whatever you run will tell you this is not um, you don't have this but it's in that package so go install it so do that and then you can run this so echo and then that's not a single quote that's actually the tilde sign so it's above the tab usually next to the one tilde print f uh, double quote what we put in there, double quote, um, pipeline, mmn code, dash u, close. So, that's that. Uh, let me just show you everything. Oh, damn, why did I have that? No manual. Info mmn code in. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Crap. Hmm. I wanted to show you what that means. Well, it doesn't matter. Alright. So that's one. Um, there we go. Now let's do the next one. So that's username. So we'll take that one. We'll put it in there. Too bad you cannot remove stuff in there. No, I thought I copied it. Yeah, there we go. So we have the username Audi. Let me go to this one. Passwords. Equals. There we go. One, two, three, four, AD. What could we also do? Well, we could also just copy this whole thing, go to this, and get that username. Uh, this is by the way to creepo.net and then take the basics for decoder encoder. Username Audi password 13348D. So let's type that in here. But well, I want to show you both ways. Did I accidentally hit the. No. So that's it. And you have extended. Sometimes it's enhanced. Um, but the SNTP auth is basically just base64 encoding scheme so again this is not really um, secure because as you could see you could do different ways to decode basic support stuff so well that's it actually